Today on the channel from the Star Wars Archive Edition, we've got Darth Revan and we've got Princess Leia Organa. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars unboxing and review. Today, the Star Wars Black Series Archive Edition of Darth Revan and Princess Leia. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So today, the Archive Wave continues on. We did the Clone Trooper. As of right now, I've passed on the Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, but I did pick up Darth Revan. I did pick up Princess Leia. And that's who we're talking about today. And we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. we got to do ladies first. So Princess Leia, she's going first today. So there she is. We know this packaging. We love it. We've had it for a few years now. I've always found these more traditionally at Walmart stores uh, as far as figure hunting goes. These Walmarts usually get pretty good uh, amount of these eventually. It takes a while though and I know a lot of people have pre-ordered these from places like Amazon, Big Bad Toy Store, etc. and have gotten delays into the new year. Who knows? You never know what's going to happen with shipping the way it is right now. But there might be some more of these floating out there. As Like I said, I found these on a fig hunt just in the last week or so. So be on the lookout if you're looking for it. Now this Princess Leia we've seen in the past, of course, as you guys know. I have this figure somewhere and I figured this was one I felt like I could upgrade. I just got to find my old figure. A lot of my Star Wars stores stuff is packed away as I've been moving rooms around doing that kind of stuff and I haven't set up my Black Series figures yet so I would have had this for comparison but we'll just have to pretend it's here and I'll uh, try to find some glamour shots online but definitely an improved face scan on this one that's what it needed uh, so I'm happy they did do that 50th anniversary timeline Star Wars Black Series glamour shot figure all that kind of fun stuff on the back we got the blur we got the Lucasfilm timeline we got warnings we got all that kind of fun stuff UPCs on the bottom. No Jedi Master Points here. What are we doing? Where's the Jedi Master Points? Don't you know Kyle collects those? Princess Leia Organa. Princess Leia Organa was one of the Rebel Alliance's greatest leaders, fearless on the battlefield and dedicated to ending the tyranny of the Empire. Ah, oh, good for her. What, what a nice person she was. She was, unfortunately, met an end. She met an end, like we all do eventually. See you later. There it goes. Plastic Prison, Princess Leia. Oh, all washed out in the light there. She's very white, very pure, very innocent, Princess Leia at this time. Comes with her two famed blasters, her regular blaster, and then, of course, the one she stole off that stormtrooper. Pull her out. Pull them out. See you later. There it goes. Uh, her blaster there, better than some we've seen. The Power of the Force one always drove me nuts, as you guys have seen in my daily Star Wars reviews. This one's okay, so she's got her blaster here. I wish there was a way to store it on her, and I don't like the idea of her having two guns in her hands on my display, but I don't know. But there's her blaster there, and then we get the Stormtrooper blaster. Now, we've seen this thing 100,000 times. I think this is probably the most reused accessory. It's got to be, right, in the Black Series so far. But it's so versatile. It's used a lot of different ways. Obviously, the uh, Stormtroopers and some of our heroes stealing it away. So we got this. Ooh, I was going to say no coloring on this one, but there's just a little dab of silver there. So I like that. I like that. A little coloring going on. So cool there. Two weapons. We've seen them before. I'm sure we're going to see them again. Uh, but it makes sense. It makes sense to pack these in with Princess Leia here. Then you get down to Princess Leia. Oh my gosh, you got a loose arm? Maybe. Let me see what's going on here. There's something going on with this right arm. I almost thought it wasn't even attached. It's attached. It's just a little bit looser than I would prefer uh, in my figures. But this isn't a huge posability type figure out there. But she does have her patented white, ro white robe with the hood that comes, comes up, covers her if you want to. Really looks like she's uh, getting out of the shower in her pajamas is what it looks like. She's got her bathrobe on and all that kind of stuff. Underneath, oh man, she's ready to party. I thought she had long tights before, but no, it's just regular legs with some boots. And uh, she just has her fine white Hanes underwear on. That's all she's got going on there. So I was thinking we had some more under there, but I guess not. But it is one piece, this long robe, and then she does have a belt, a white and silver belt. Looks really good around her. 
Uh, but the real winner here is the head sculpt on this one. And I believe some of these robes, depending where you display your stuff, if it catches a lot of sunlight, these will turn yellow on you. So I always warn people, be careful with your toys. Don't put them in direct sunlight. It's terrible. It might not seem like a big deal, but over time, just a little bit of sun, it all adds up. Trust me, it does. I've seen it. Uh, but anyways, the head sculpt is where this one is the true winner. Uh, the old one was pretty rough. This is beautiful with the new technologies and all that kind of stuff we have right now. Uh, her patented Princess Leia hairstyle out there. But it definitely looks like Carrie Fisher. That is the reason to buy this one. And I do like that they put it in this archive edition wave. Don't put it in the traditional black series where people are trying to build out that mural, all that kind of stuff. This is the perfect spot for something like this. A re-release. And this is great for new collectors because... People like you and me most likely are watching this video. We want all the deep cuts. Give us all the bounty hunters. Give us some of these crazy droids and aliens and stuff. We want those deep cuts. But that does hinder new collectors from jumping in the line. There's a lot of people that want to collect Black Series but say, oh, I want a traditional Han and Luke and Leia. And you've got to keep pumping those guys out at a fairly regular clip. And the Archive Edition is probably the place to do that in instead of the original Black Series unless it is warranted. So it's really tough with these toy lines because you get kind of laser focused on, I want that Bib Fortuna, I want it so bad. But then you got little Jimmy down the road, I'm just getting into Black Series, I just want a traditional Vader, I want a traditional Luke Skywalker. And there's people coming all the time. And that is not just Star Wars lines, that's Marvel lines, uh, wrestling lines, you name it out there. People want the core characters, and people like me don't want the core characters because we've had them so many times, but the new collectors, they do. So we always got to take that business step back every once in a while on the channel. It's not as fun to talk about, but there's a science to the stuff. I don't know. Is it a science? Is business a science? Business science. There it is. Now we turn our attention to a Jedi, a Sith, a gaming greats figure, a character Kyle knows nothing about. Yes, all those are true. Darth Revan. Now, Darth Revan, there's a white version and a black version. So as far as I know, and once again, I'm just kind of spitballing here. I've never played the video games. I don't know the history and all that. But he was started off as a good guy and then turned to the dark side, or he turned to the dark side and then turned to the good side. One way or the other, but both figures, I think one represents Jedi, one represents Sith. I could be totally wrong on that, but he is a cool figure, so I had to pick him up. But I am not into the gaming greats. I just can only go so far, but uh, some of them, I can't resist. And some of the GameStop ones, I can resist. This one, I could not resist. So I'm weird, I know. We all got our collector's rules out there, but there he is in the package. I believe this is a re-release. We did get this back in the day. Very hard to get at this time. Uh, they also came up with like a Darth Nihilist. That's one I really regret sleeping on. I like the look of that character, and uh, I should pick that one up, and I probably will if I ever find it at a decent price. Uh, but Darth Revan, kind of in the same boat as that, but two lightsabers with him. He's uh, double fist in lightsabers. He means business. You know he does. Glamour shot. You got the figure. You got the lightsabers. Star Wars logo at the top. 50th anniversary. Uh, Lucas Films up there as well. What a celebration. We've been celebrating all year long. I don't know about you, but every day I eat a piece of cake in honor. Uh, maybe not. Uh, all the warnings, all that stuff down below. You got the timeline. You got the glamour shot there of him. You got the Star Wars logo. You got the blur. We'll read that. You got the UPC down here. But once again, no Jedi Master points. Hard times. Hard times. Uh, Darth Revan, uh, the enigmatic former hero of the Jedi Civil War, Darth Revan continued to play a pivotal role in the ongoing war between the Sith Empire and the Galactic Republic. So my guess is he was good guy then turned bad. It's usually kind of the way it goes. And I think that's what he did here. So there you go. Pull him off the card. This card opens up very easily. It doesn't open at the bottom very easy, but the top very easy. See you later. Get out of here. All right, and I do have the white one somewhere. A lot like the Princess Leia story. He's boxed up somewhere. I'll get to it eventually, but... I don't know. I don't know. Time, what is it anymore? Uh, but there's Darth Revan looking only like he could look if he was a Sith instead of a Jedi. Looking pretty cool if you ask me. I like it. Let's pull him out. See what's doing. I like his two lightsabers too. See you later. Uh, something tells me, and I could be totally wrong, I'm just guessing, using Kyle's brain power, what little he has, I'm using it here. I'm guessing this is maybe his Jedi lightsaber and this is his Sith lightsaber and he uses both of them. I don't know. I'm just guessing out there. But this is a different lightsaber. I don't know if I've seen this uh, hilt on this one before. This one is more traditional. Uh, but this one looks a little bit different. And I do like the purple coloring. I like the change of pace. I like things getting mixed up. I like that. I like it's not just a green and a blue for everybody. Everybody's got their own little personality in their lightsaber. So I'm a fan of that uh, all day long. And man, this is very cool. So some surprises here for me. 
I love the soft goods robe cape going on. Is it a shawl? Is it a cape? We do know we're in the thick of cape season right now, so everybody hopefully has their cape out. We're almost ready to enter scarf season. Yes, you heard it here first. Scarf, scarf season is here for the holidays, for the Christmas pictures with Santa. Get your fanciest scarf, but right now you should be all rocking your cape as we're deep into the cape season. Uh, but I like this Darth Revan, and the things that surprise me here is the soft goods. So like I said, soft good cape, soft good robe, but then it's got little holes in it, like a moth went through it or something. But it's tattered, it's ripped. This is a dude that's seen some things. He's been through the battles, he's had a ripped cape. I like it a lot. I like the peachish coloring on him, on his forearms and his chest plates. You got the big circle right here with all the kind of dangle going on. And then you got the little flap on the front of his robe. This is very minimalistic, but very strong. It's like there's there's a story to this guy. You see him, you say, man, what is this guy's story? He looks like he's something. Uh, and like I said, I don't know the background of the character, but man, is this pretty cool, I, I gotta admit. And then he almost has like a Boba Fett type head, face on him. And then he's got a hard good uh, hood going on him, so you can't take that off or see any of that. But man, does this guy look like he means business. I definitely like this one more than the white version. Uh, which I said I have somewhere in my collection. There's something about the darkness of this one. This guy seems like a bad, bad dude that you wouldn't want to mess with. And you throw the soft goods on top of there. Just absolutely fabulous. Love everything about this one. I definitely re uh, recommend picking this one up for sure. I know the Archive Edition is not for everybody. Like I said earlier, I passed on the Obi-Wan Kenobi. And Obi-Wan's my favorite. He is my favorite. But I felt like... There was something off on that blonde sandy hair of his, and I just felt like I didn't need it. I already have so many Obi-Wans, I just felt like that was one I didn't need. However, I might play a little of that Kyle Peterson patented long game. After the holidays, we might see, you know, come March or so, we might see a discount on Amazon. We might see some flash deals, something like that. Uh, there's nothing worse you get a flash deal, and it's something you bought at full price. Now it's half off or whatever. Uh, it drives me absolutely insane. Insane, got to get a deal. It's a motto I live by. But we'll see. I'll play a little of that long game on the Obi-Wan. That's my plan. That's my plan. Or maybe I'll get it from Santa. Maybe Santa will come through and get me Obi-Wan for Christmas. Who knows? You never know what might happen. But Darth Raven, Darth Revan, I wouldn't call him Raven, but Darth Revan, Princess Leia. I'm going Darth Revan, my favorite of the two. And then you throw that clone trooper in the mix. Darth Revan still leads the pack. I think this is a strong, strong figure. Even if I don't know the character, I kind of get the gist and I kind of think I know the way it goes. I like what I'm seeing here. And Princess Leia, a great upgrade if you're looking to upgrade. Uh, I'll probably sell my old one, make a couple of dollars. I don't know, get seven, eight bucks out of it, if that, who knows. But I like this Princess Leia head uh, immensely better than the last one. So that's how I see it. But how do you see it out there? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. You guys know we got daily Star Wars unboxings in 2021. We'll see what 2022 brings. So stay tuned for that, of course. And then uh, Twitter, SirPaul64. You can find me there. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And then, of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for Darth Revan and Princess Leia, I am Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.